Hey Ross World, my money makes money. Stash, cash. Stash cash. Now, yes, I'm talking about the app, the wonderful app, and they're also, by the way, are building a website. Now if you go on stash.com, you can actually log in and see some of the transactions that you made either through your app or on the website of you investing your money. Now they're continuing to build the website for you can have a more intuitive and connection with your account, not just on your app. Some people love that big, broad spectrum of an interface on a laptop or a desktop computer. I love it as well. That's why I like Wellfront. I also like Stash. Stash is, is a great app. Now, in the link below, I have a link. I have a link for you that you can go in and you can get $5 for joining and pff, free money. You can't, you can really can't pass that up. But Stash Cash. Now, Stash Cash, if you've never heard of it, is not the official name. The official name of it is just Stash. The reason why I like to call it Stash Cash is because that is where I stash my cash. Why do I stash my cash in Stash? It's because they have all of these millennial type of uh, ways that they create these portfolios. Like they kind of make it attractive for the younger generation, but it doesn't matter how old you are. The, the proof is in the pudding. The transparency on Stash, I absolutely love it. Like one of the portfolios I believe is called American Innovators. And once you go into American Innovators, it shows you, okay, a breakdown of each stock that it invests in. Now, now, if you don't know, Stash mostly invests in ETFs, those exchange traded funds, okay? Sort of like index funds, very, very, very low fees. And Stash is only $1 a month, okay? $1 a month for them to manage your account. But this is what I like about Stash. You're going into transparency is this astronomically clear to anyone First of all, they have a graph to show you from one year or one month or even one day through five years. Correct me if I'm wrong, but five years total of how that stock, how that fund, how that portfolio has been performing. And for a guy like me, that's very important because if I get a stock that's steadily at 7% and it has great dividends or it even has three or 4% dividends, but the stock is on like $20, I'm not probably looking to make that much money, but I'm gonna get those dividends. And we know about dividends investing on dividends, that's more dividends, right? So that's what you have to take into account. Then also it has each stock that it's investing in, okay? Uh, whether it be Microsoft, Apple, uh, uh, Facebook, so on and so forth, whatever that stock is associated, it breaks it down and it tells you by percentage. It tells you by percentage. And then at the bottom, if that particular fund, that particular fund has a ticker, you can know the ticker. And then sometimes I go into Robinhood and I invest money in the net. But this is the kicker. This is the kicker. Say for instance, stock costs $89. You're like, well, I'm not going to buy one stock. I'm not going to buy one fund for $89. But what you can do is monthly put $10 in out of stock and then increment small pieces, okay? Pieces of a pie. You will still be investing in that portfolio. The only thing is you're not going to own one whole fund of that particular portfolio until you reach that $89.90. Not a big deal. Nevertheless, you're still investing. And this is another great thing. Diversification. Diversification. It has all sorts of stuff. Uh, invest in clean energy. Invest in tech companies. Invest in social media. Invest in semiconductors. You just have to find the right portfolio. Invest in Rollwood Buffett. They have all these cool names. All these very uh, intricate stocks that you can either receive great returns on or you can receive dividends on. Now, if you're a new investor, let me just put that out there. Nothing is guaranteed about the stock market. You can lose money. You can lose money, but as people know me, research, research, research. Look at everything, stock news. Look at the analytics. Look at how it used to look. Look how it's going. Read the news and see if they're coming up with any new technologies. But this is very important. And I like Stash because Stash will motivate you. 
Even the colors that they use on their website are attractive, kind of a purplish blue color, okay? All those warm, good feeling colors. See, this is psychological, and I keep telling you guys, money is psychological. So, like I said before, I have a link in the description for you to join, you get $5, and this is a very good thing, and you can invest in how many portfolios you want. Just do your research, and you can allocate $10 here, $10 there, $50 there. I mean, at one point, I was think I was in maybe four or five portfolios, and I was investing like $50 in each, and then I... Uh, Turned it down a little bit, had to buy some stuff, had to allocate some more money back home, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, this is Ross World, where stash cash is where I want my money at, okay? Now, I have my money in other places too, but if you're just starting off, Stash is a really, really great app and soon to be great website for you to go research and really feel good about the companies you're going to invest in. I'm out.